Now you can add a Google Analytics tracking ID to any Spark page you create in Adobe Spark in order to collect advanced analytics. In order to do that, click the Settings options while editing a Spark page and here you can see the text field where you would enter the Google Analytics tracking ID. But this feature is only available for premium members, so if you are not, then most probably you won't find this feature here on your screen. Now I'll walk you through the steps that you need to do if you would like to collect advanced analytics to your Adobe Spark page. First make sure that your Adobe Spark page is published and has a link. If not, then go to share, then click on publish and share link. And here you can change any of these settings if you want to, then click create link. And now your Spark page is published and has a link. I'll copy the link now by clicking the copy button here. Then next, sign in to your Google Analytics account. Then go to admin. Then click on the account drop down and select the account under which you would like to add a new website. In the middle, there is property column, and here you will click on create property. Then you would choose whether you want to track a website or an app or both. In our case here, we will choose web, then click continue. And now in this screen, fill in your website details. Type in the website name, then paste your Spark page link or URL here. Okay, now since it is an HTTPS, I'll choose HTTPS here and make sure you move it from the link you pasted, otherwise it will give you an error as you can see here. Then you can set a category and a reporting time zone if you want to. And once you are done, click create. And now you should see the tracking ID that you should put inside your Adobe Spark page settings. So I will highlight this ID, copy it, then go back to the Adobe Spark page, open up the settings and paste it here under Google Analytics tracking ID. Once you paste it, click anywhere outside the text field and now it's all set. Now one more step, go to share. Click on Publish and Share link, and here you will click on the Update link button to reflect the new updates that you have just done. Great! Now if I went back to Google Analytics and click Home, and now that we are on our Adobe Spark page property, you can see all the analytics for this page. To test if it is working or not, you see here it has no active users right now. But now if I open the Spark page in a new tab, then I go back and refresh the Google Analytics page by clicking on Overview for instance. So now you see it is saying that we have one active user right now. And this because I have just opened the Adobe Spark page. So now since you linked your Spark page to Google Analytics, you can check any analytics you want here, like the locations of the active users, the traffic sources, the audience, the acquisition, whatever you want to do. Well, I hope this helped. If not, let me know if you are having any problems or if anything that is still unclear to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next lecture.